All right, so while I was just, you know, I was trying to play Deep Oaken the other day. I was trying to have an enjoyable time on one of my builds. One of my builds I just finished. I was like, yo, I've just finished my perfect Thundercool build. I can't wait to play on it. That's my exact force. That was my force exactly. And then I, I hopped into Charm. And I'm not even going to lie, bro. What is Charm nowadays? And not even just Charm, but like end game content as a whole. Because I don't even know what I'm supposed to be doing on my build once I finish it. Because I get to the point where I finish a build and I just sit there and I kind of do nothing on it. And I, I end up wiping a lot of builds just because I don't play them. Because like, uh, there's, there's no reason to play on them. I don't I don't get it. Like, I hop on Deep Vulcan and the only thing there is to do which is enjoyable is just prog builds. Which at this point, bro, even prog and builds is just dry. Because I've already done everything there is to do to prog a build. I mean, I've done Deep Bound, Void Walker, like... And I'm pretty sure it's the same for most people. Most people have already done like most of the stuff that is to do in the game multiple times. So at this point, the game's just dry as hell. Like I'm gonna just showcase some clips in the background of what I mean. Cause I was queuing for 2v2 charm the other day and I'm not even joking, bro. It took like, it was like a 20, 30 minute queue. And I just matched against a top 250 player and I was like 200 ping. Like bro, <laughs> it's just, it's, it's like, like, I don't even know man. You can see the player counts dropped significantly like, if I go on it right now, I'm just going to check right now as I'm just recording this, how many players, 3k players. Yo, that's actually great, 3k players on D. Another thing is just PvE, PvE endgame is also just boring because, it, well, you got hell mode, but like, what, what do you do in hell mode, bro? You kill mobs, and then, oh my, I, I don't even get, wait. Okay, well, let me just fit, bro. But like, hell mode's boring, obviously, because, you know, all you do is kill mobs, and most of the time you do hell mode, you know, you get jumped, and then there's those sweaty trial kids who are like, GG's after they jump you in hell mode, and even though it is not a GG, you killed a PvE build, bro. Why even jump a PvE? I mean, it's whatever, but, you know, hell mode's kind of dry. And then, bro, the updates, bro. Oh my god, bro. What? It's update day today, so hopefully we get something new, but... Bro, that mob update was so bad. Like, <laughs> I was, I was so baffled when I saw that. Like the flame charm one, especially, bro. What is, what is going on with that? Like, why do the mobs look like that, bro? I mean, that's gonna be all for the video. I just wanted to talk about, you know, deep booking. In its current state, it's just, I don't know. The game, the game's dying badly. Like people are talking about types all dying, but bro, deep booking. I mean, you know what's crazy, right? Is that the, the fact that people play type so the shops to get some Heineken. said it was better than Deep Woken. I was like, hey, was not, they don't ID me. It was never good. He's like, I'm I gave you fake ID. I, I was like, no, mate, I'm alright. Like, right. like, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm alright, 18. You spend money He's like, and reroll your, um, like, res and shit. That was the only thing I enjoyed. Uh, progression was bad, but it's crazy because even though Type 4 was such a terrible game, people were still saying it was better than Deep Woken and still playing it over Deep Woken. That's gonna be all for the video. Uh, like and sub. I'm still gonna be posting daily content, uh, daily deep broken content probably. Cause even though the game's there, bro, I still can have some fun playing it, I guess. That's gonna be all, um, see ya.